Hey, so I'm back at the beach, uh, same beach as I was at yesterday. Uh, wish me luck. I found a diamond ring yesterday. Uh, big goal, big goal. That's just, you should keep your mentality positive. Um, I just want to extinguish this beach a little bit before I post tonight's video, which today is tomorrow from tonight's video. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm back at the same beach. That way I can do a little more work, make sure that um, I'm good before I post the video because it seems when I post videos, people are checking the buildings out in the background and they're going to the exact same spots like, like I haven't hunted it out. Uh, I don't usually hunt it out. I just usually pop in, pop out to find some good targets or no good targets. Um, just drove by a beach that I don't know, I had a calling to. So I'm gonna pop in here real quick see if I find a line of targets if not oh well I see uh, and people didn't like when I like predict what I'm seeing like if I said a nine gram ring and it was a size nine seven gram ring they, they feel that I don't know that that I'm dropping stuff in front of me but here's my prediction 30 28 plus gram uh, Cuban link 24 inch something that I can wear uh, as I detect that way it shows that I actually find gold so I'm gonna keep it on me until I need to sell it so love you guys wish me luck I'm heading in now wait what did I just say find a nine or seven gram ring and my prediction was uh, to find something that I can wear that I'll wear to show that uh, that I find stuff while metal detecting hmm hmm yeah this video is a good one for me because it was the deepest, nasty of, nastiest of signals, guys, and you're going to find that out later. Heading on in, guys. So, uh, I'm actually uh, a little ways north from where I was yesterday. Actually, quite a quite a ways north from where I was yesterday but there's so many uh, so many fishing poles in the water up here it's definitely more of a fishing beach people line a people line so I might end up just going up the people line I mean it's Three, a third of a mile up there to get up to that. Not sure if I should go up to the hotel I was at yesterday or if I should hop in the water and then head that way. Kind of looks like there's a people line. A people line, so I might end up just going up the people line. I mean, it's Three, a third of a mile up there to get up to that to get up to that spot. But it looks like there's a pretty good people line. High tide was at like uh, 10 this morning. It's about 12 o'clock now. Low tide is at uh, low tides at 5 p.m. tonight. So we'll see how long I'm here. Big gold. That's my goal for today. It's just big gold. Doesn't even have to be that Cuban. Look at my machine did not charge last night. It said it was charging. It said it charged. I left it on there all night and it did not charge. Make sure that you uh, that'll limit my time, right? Make sure that you. Uh, Check your check your connectors, guys. Check your connectors uh, as far as uh, the electrodes underneath. Uh, make sure that they're cleaned off. There's a lot of fishing, there's a lot of fishing people here, so I'm expecting to get a lot of weights today. We'll see, I'll be, I'll be right back. Uh, this is Lisa and... I'm Lisa, this is Maria. 
Yeah. Lisa and Maria, and they were from Cincinnati, Kentucky, Kentucky hey. and Cincinnati. That's what I wanted, that nice harmonizing hay. So, uh, yeah, they're just enjoying themselves floating in our Tampa Bay area, right? So, uh, you guys enjoying yourself? Yeah. They just asked me what I do, guys, and uh, I'm blessed to do what I do for a living. So, this is uh, the video after the 17th diamond ring, and, and hopefully they're not wearing any jewelry. Now, look, smart ladies from uh, up north, guys. Enjoy, ladies. Check yourself out, Metal Detecting Channel. I'll put you on a small little smiley, hey. <laughs> Enjoy, ladies. Yep. Okay. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Subscribe if you would, I appreciate it. Thank you. So here's the bottom, like the bottom of the beach where the waves are. Not sure what the low tide does here. There's a lot of jellyfish again. I'm sure there's some uh, stingray as well. I'm gonna come out where the people are. Maybe there's like big rings. I'm looking for big gold anyway, so. Guys, what is going on with his hair? What the hell is that on the top of his head? Are you serious where you're wearing your, is that like the, Oh my god, is that like the man bun that... <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that guy's hair. He'd probably kick my ass if he knew I was saying that. <laughs> Guys, so you know what I've decided? I've decided that... You could seriously find targets anywhere. So I found the diamond ring yesterday up by the shore. Here's the bottom of the beach, right? There's a giant hump, and then this is the bottom where it, maybe it starts over again. And then... And then it starts sloping down from here. It goes down, look where everybody's swimming. So, two hours ago, everybody was swimming probably about, I don't know, 10 feet closer to the beach because that's where they could touch. So I want to point out a couple things. As I'm walking south on this uh, shoreline right here, I'm not hearing any targets. And what I do see right here, see where that guy's swimming right there in front of me? There's a deeper line right here to right where I just walked. So it goes like this right here in front of me. So I'm coming up to the shore right now to uh, check out that man bun. And, uh, I check this low shell line right here and then I uh, dip out to the lower <laughs> uh, to the deeper stuff right here right <laughs> hi guys and then I come out to this deeper line right here so the the line goes just like that right there so where that guy's at it comes all the way down and then this is the deeper side right here so I run along this deeper level right here. So here's another idea that you could do is you could stay out as deep as you, you can all the way down through, right? So stay as deep as you can walk all the way down through, but that's what a lot of guys do. Well, why I find more is because I go in and out. I'll follow that line right there, that dip line, and then I'll go in and out throughout this dip line. So. You can clearly see the line of people. The high tide line is what, two feet lower, so they would have been in about two feet from here. So keep along that line and then you'll be successful. So, yes, I do. So, it's what I do for a living. I have a YouTube channel. And, guys, look at this right here. So, we've got a 
a solitaire. It looks like a, just over a carat. Maybe that's a $15,000 too, she said. So $20,000 and then really chunky diamonds over there. Um, so people don't think they'll ever come off. You're sitting inside a tube that could seriously molest you, right? You get hit by a wave and the wave takes it over your head and a ring comes off. So if you could take it off before you came in, in 15 minutes you lose a ring size. The swelling comes down in your hands, you lose a ring size in 15 minutes. So if you could have taken it off before you get into the water, in 15 minutes, now it's a little loose. Something happens, you see a jellyfish, you panic, something happens to where he pulls you out of the way of the jellyfish and, and a ring comes off. Do you have your wedding band on, sir? Where, in the water? No. Uh, at home, like in the grass, or? At home in my drawer. Oh, uh, okay. I use everything. No, no, that's that's the story, okay, but in the grass it could always be recovered if you saw it go down. If you get flipped over by this raft and you notice that you lose a ring, see how you're right at the edge of that building, maybe a little bit this way of the edge of that building? Yeah. You remember that. Instantly find yourself on land, and we can just come out and get it because your gold won't won't move. I love it. And what are your names? Susan. Tom. Susan and Tom, guys. Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri, guys. Yeah. You know, I love that uh, Pike County, Illinois. So they're we're about 150 miles apart from right St. Louis. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just a river separates where I want to live the rest of my life is Nebo, Illinois. You do what? Big deer. I love white-tailed deer. I'm a bow hunter. I think they are too. Yeah, once you kill a deer with a bow, you realize that 150, 200 yards with a rifle is just not even fair anymore, right? I teach it on my phone with my grandson with the last deer. Hey, nice. I'm a bow hunter. I hunt bows. I got a pink one for my hair and a yellow one for my hair. Uh, <laughs> You're fantastic. Thank you. Yep. What's your name? Enjoy. I'm Derek. Derek? Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Take care. Good luck. Yes. Thank you. You know I love that. Thank you Coast Guard for being around, guys. Oh, it's a pull tab. Love that low flyby. What, what? So they all have their diamond rings on. Look where they're sitting, just in where uh, they're safe enough to put the kid down, right? So look at this chain that he's got a nice gold chain on. Uh, the high tide was two feet higher. This is kind of, you start narrowing down where you need to be, guys. And where I think I need to be right now is not where I need to be in an hour. There is no way that I'm going to be able to cover all this water in the next, in this video, right? But I promise you, if I post a video, this water will be covered by like six guys coming up from Sarasota, six guys coming down from Newport Ritchie, six guys coming over from Miami saying, oh yeah, we saw this Vermont Derrick guy saying he, he uh, found Diamond Beach. Guys, guys, real quick, before this next target, pay attention to this next target. It's real important because I call out the numbers. 15, 15, grunty, 15, 16, grunty, 15, 16. Sounds like a bottle cap. I say it about however many times. Just pay attention to this next clip. Look, you see that exclamation point right there with the triangle around it? That's the overload mode. I just click it out of that and then click it back into the beach two mode real quick. Here's a grunty 15. Sounds, it says it's deep. And it feels like I'm right in a shell pack. So let's dig it up real quick. And this scoop, guys, what you're not understanding about the price. is that it's so durable that you can go into a shell pack or a hard packed uh, sand and look, I'm putting 220 pounds on that.
and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bottle cap. Says I got it. Massive shells. Full tab maybe. I have no idea. Sucks not being able to see in there. Look at what just happened with that guy. Did he just go in a circle? Somebody sink? What? What? I said I didn't get it out of the hole yet. I'm gonna go one more deeper. And this is me leaning back, guys on this concrete that I'm pulling up. Super heavy scoop of shells. And I'm pulling this scoop out. And I just dump it out, heck with it. Loud, 16, 15, 16 out of the hole. I probably try, should have tried to sift it out, but there is so much stuff in there. Now I know it's on the surface. Maybe you guys can't hear it, but it's beeping at 15, 16, trying to dig it out. Got it. What is that? Look at somebody put their gold ring on a little thing, and I just found gold. And if it doesn't say D on it, like Derek, oh my God, they put this around their neck and just lost it and I just dug this deepest of 16 gold ring unbelievable un freaking believable I'm gonna put this D on look at that guys a signet ring D Derek <laughs> oh my god I'm so glad I dug that holy crap what what check that out oh where's it at here look at D. D. 18 karat gold. 7 grams of 18 karat gold. $315. Unbelievable. I'm going to wear it. Like, it fits, it fits my finger perfectly. I'm going to wear it. It'll be like a security guard, a $300 security that I have on my finger. What, what? What, what? I think that's 40 or 41 for the gold rings. Cool. Back to the video. Love you. Guys, what is that? Red and brown? Oh, no. She's got something on. I can't even tell. Holy moly. I don't even know where those shares went. Somewhere right around here. I don't know. I'm going to hop back in the water right here. Unbelievable what just happened to me. Guys, wait. This is going to be the end of tonight's video. Part one of part two of two parts. I found three more rings in the rest of this day. There's no way that I can put all of the three rings into the end of this video. So... Uh, I love you. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, enjoy the photos of the D-ring. Talk to you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.